Hey guys, I just watched um, American Werewolf in London a few days ago, and let me tell you, if you haven't seen it, you need to fucking watch it. <laughs> I only saw it for the first time, but it's gotta be good, right, if I'm advocating for it. So, it's about this guy and his friend Jack. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, he has a part to play in the plot. Anyways, they are college students who decide, well, the main character decide. The our guy was like, nah, I guess we can do that. They decided to go backpacking in London, like, in the moors and they uh, came across this small ass town like i mean i guess it's not a, yeah it's kind of it's smaller it's way smaller than the town like way smaller there's a pub there's a few buildings there's a graveyard i mean it's in the middle of bumfuck nowhere they decide to get a pint something to Eat because it starts like it's raining, it's really cold, you know, just the English weather. And uh, whenever they go in, they kind of get a frosty reception at first. Then, you know, I just they're like, eh, what the heck? They're paying customers. Everything's fine until Jack mentions the pentagram that's on the wall. And also, like the sign to the pub, I think it's like a wolf and then your steak first and like that. And it jokes like, wow, this is a um interesting way to advertise your pub. Um, okay. Anyways, he asked that and yeah, they give him a non committal answer, something like that. They're like, Puh, werewolves. Here's no such thing. And of course they're all uh, their locals take it more seriously, they're more tense, they're like, get the fuck out. It's basically what they imply by not saying that, they're just like, get the fuck out. Um, the lady bartender is like, mm, guys, we should probably let them stay tonight because, you know, it's dark and it's rainy. I mean, she's trying to, like, make it as, like, big as possible. Um, and, like, our guys are like, nah, get the fuck out. And, uh, they're like, well, okay, I guess we're walking, um, to wherever is a inn. Like I said, it's a little bumfuck normie. How are they gonna find another place? Anyways, they go uh, back out in the dark, and before they leave, the townsfolk are like, yeah, stay on the roads, don't go into the moors, and you'll be fine. Of course, they get lost and end up in the moors, because that's the way horror movies be like. The protagonists of the story just end up doing something that it just yeah they're advised not to just intentionally or just like nah it's crazy paranoid uh, townsfolk. Anyways, shit happens like real quick. This wolf-like creature comes out of nowhere. Well, they realize that something's stalking them. Like they hear these noises and they're like, oh shit. Do you think it could be a coyote? And, like. They're, I guess, like, nah, man, coyotes, like, they don't live in London. Like, they don't live on the moors. He's like, okay, so basically, just keep on walking. They're like, I think Jack, I forgot my character's name. I can't believe I forgot. Oh, well. Um, they're like, shit, something's stalking us. And they're like, let's let's run, man. And they, they just yeet all the way across the moors. But Jack gets... Eden, I mean, just gets mauled. I mean, if you fought it, like, I mean, the shit, like, you've seen, like, in movies with bear attacks, I mean, this is damn some serious stuff. Of course, the main character, he kind of, like, runs away a little bit. I mean, Doris Helping is like, you know what's a lost cause, man? How am I gonna take on something, like, twice the size? I mean, he, of course, doesn't escape. Well, he gets attacked, the villagers find them, ends up in the hospital, thinks he hallucinates the, like, ghost of his dead friend who progressively 
looks even more, um, like shit. I mean, no joke, he just, it's just his, I mean, he just, his ghost just slowly starts decaying, like, at first, you know, it's like the fresh wounds from, you know, the attack, like, across his face, like, his neck is just all, like, yeah, all that stuff. Um, just keeps, keeps getting worse and worse until he looks more like a zombie than anything else. He's like, yeah, you're a bit my world, man, and you gotta kill yourself to, um, end the curse. I mean, imagine, imagine that, like, you got attacked by this, like, wild animal. Um, you wake up, and then, a little bit later, your friend, who you've known for a long ass time, is like, when you go to somebody, he's like, yeah, about that, well, um, in order for you to not kill people, and for me to move on, you have to kill yourself. And he's like, what? No, I'm losing this shit. I, mean, I must be big. What? Like, did they give me, man? Like, what kind of sedatives? Because I'm tripping balls. Yeah. I know I should be, like, more, I mean, saying the tone, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like just, yeah. Trying to be funny. Trying is the word. Um, I'm, like, yeah. Just trying. Anyways, he's like, what? Nah. I don't believe you. Eventually he does, though. Like, eventually he does. And I'm not going to split it for you, but let's just say he develops feelings for this particular young nurse who's around, who's around the same age, who's probably, like, older or the same age. I mean, she looked like the, co- she looks like a college, um, like... Because college age is a nurse, I don't know. They're both young. He's a college kid. She is probably, hopefully, I mean, she's definitely older. Or his age, I don't know. She looked pretty young, so. Mm, I don't know. I don't really say her age. But I'm guessing older than me. I'm almost 21. Woo. Yeah, so maybe older than me. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. I'm not going to spoil it. If you haven't, like, seen it, because I want you to find out what's going to happen at the ending, because, yeah, I'm not going to spoil more. If you have seen this movie, I like to discuss it with you. I always, you know, just reach out that, well, not reach out, but, like, just kind of invitation. Like, if you want to geek out over a movie or something, I'd be glad to just talk about it. Just, yeah, whatever you guys want to do. All right, I'm going to go make sure to, you know it. If you've been with me all this time, you know it. Like or dislike. Make sure to comment down below. Subscribe. I post videos Mondays and Fridays. And, yeah. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you all in a few days. Bye.